Let's go inside. So here's, a, here's where I live. Will you take us to your work later? Yeah, I have to drop these off. That's part of my work. Well, we came back up so you guys could see my apartment. And then another important reason we had to come back is so I can show off my, my $300,000 bicycle. Dude, what, what country is it from? It's from uh, Bangladesh. Ooh, this bike sucks. And this is a little tartan. He accidentally slipped into the hood. Ooh, we don't like you in our neighborhood. Scottish boy, you better leave. <laughs> okay, let's build out of here. Bye. This up here is gonna be called Bowery Street. Sometimes these people, they honk. I'm like, think of something original. Everybody's doing the honk. Talk about being fucking depressed. The strongest man in New York City coming through. Oh, that was so terrible. Oh my God, I'm sorry. All right, good work. Did you ride your skateboard over? Yeah, I brought it. It's hand delivered. Is that your daily routine? Not really. Every day is different. Some days it's really exciting. And it's mostly, uh, that's not hard work to me, but to someone else, I mean, I, they couldn't even do it. I mean, it would, it, someone, they wouldn't even, they would call a delivery company to bring a box that far. But I mean, I like to stay healthy and moving. It's, if you don't do stuff like that, then you start to just veg. But I mean, but being veg is cool. I mean, a lot of people veg that are veg, they're happy, they're, they're stoked. I made up the, this poem that says, if I see one more fat person laughing and having a good time, I'm gonna start gaining weight. <laughs> That'd be cool to do a wall ride on the FEMA wall. So what do you like about skating around New York, Mark? a big mix of a lot of people from a lot of different places with each person has in their mind a type of goal or type of place where they want to be in society but in New York it's like you can pick different spots and just move around and it doesn't matter for the day you know What bike is this? Uh, it's communal. For New York City's youth culture, the pop shop is like a, it's a big, it's a landmark because it was like the pop shop, key pairing, break dancing, graffiti, hip hop, it's a big part of New York City. Some people, they make their living off breaking the law. I mean, our whole thing, skateboarding, the whole idea is to break laws of gravity, like to break the law of gravity and to move in a way that, uh, that people don't see possible, but to show that you can move in a way that is not normal. <laughs> it's inner city warfare. The skateboard becomes a spear unlikely event and of an emergency, the skateboard becomes a spear. And you're on your bike, you got your spear, and you're holding it perfectly. You come on your target. And if you get the center, if you hit if you're on target and you hit your mark, there's nothing more more gratifying than that. That's what four star clothing's about. It's about being on mark, on the target, being able to hit it, perfect. Oh, bang! Explosion. As much as we're urban city, we always appreciate and like to see cowboys. As I mean, it's a part of American culture. What's it 
like to live in New York? Yo, man, it's mad crazy, kid. Cause this song is really good. You gotta hear this one. What's the theory behind the extra seat there? Well, this one's jacked up like I flipped the bike and I, feel, I don't like skating. I mean, I don't like skating. I like fresh, I mean, I want it to be fresh. Skateboarders, they're serious about what they're doing, you know? They wouldn't let that slide. Like, in school, a lot of times I think they let kids uh, settle for less or like they teach kids like that it's all right to just to just pass. But it's not, for a skateboarder, it's not all right to just pass, you know? You want it perfect, you want to land it, you want to pop it up, catch it, you know what I mean? Like, for us, if the seat don't look right, I'm taking that seat off and putting a new seat on there. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what we're about, like perfection, or like to make it our thing, to make it the best that we can make it, to do it the way we want to do it. And to not have a teacher tell us that that's the way it should be. When I ride my bike, I feel like I'm just, you know, doing something that's like skating, but it's got a paddle, you pedal a gear rather than a pushing off the floor. <laughs> That's right, that's right. Bad boy coming through. That's right, bad boy coming through. When sometimes I'm out on the street and I see those cabs, I'm just like, come and get it. Oh. Come on, cabby, come on, come on, move. move. But I like moving a lot. Like my thing is I like to always move. When you stay still, it gets stagnant and people can see you in that spot and egg you. But you're always moving, it's hard for them to get you. What do you want to be on the roller skates looking like a ferry for the rest of your fucking life? It's New York City. Yo, man, what's up? How you living? Everything came out of Alaska. Yeah, everything came out of Alaska. You hear what he's heaping? Dude, watch my fucking freestyle roller skating. Ugh. Ah! Ah! Oh, sucker! Skateboarding is about having fun, sure. Fun is great, but it's also about competition. Brett Favre, very fine quarterback. Baltimore Ravens quarterback, a tad bit better. Dude, that's not, sh I could do that. You know, I've, I've looked at that. I've looked at that spot. 
To tell you the truth, I'm not that into it. Wherever I go, I was like, hey, it's good to see you. And I said, you know it's good to see me. <laughs> of course they're happy to see me. Why? Well, why wouldn't they be happy to you see me? people happy. If they weren't happy to see me, then something would be wrong. Hey, you want to jump over me? If this kid hits me, I'm calling my attorney. <laughs> ah, that scared the fuck out of me. Damn, dog. That was tough. You scared the fuck out of me, son. See? See what we're hollering about? See what we're hollering about? See what you get when you mess with the orphans? You know, if you hit me, I was ready to sue. Well, this one's cautious. That's it for the day.